I am not a morning person, y'all. I am, I am not a morning person at all. This is the earliest I've woken up in months. <laughs> all right, uh, kayak is strapped to the roof. Here you can see it right there. I'll show you guys it a little bit later. Uh, I'm already sweating quite a bit and it's, it's already pretty hot this early in the morning. Uh, so let's just get hit the road and uh, get out of here. All right, let's hope this thing doesn't fall off my roof. I'm on the highway now. Yeah. Got about a 30 minute drive. Maybe a little longer, considering I'm probably gonna go slower. Ah. All right, so we are getting closer to the spot that I'm gonna be uh, testing out the new kayak. I only had to stop once because I was worried the straps were loosening. <laughs> so this video is gonna be mostly about me just trying out the kayak. I'm not gonna be as worried if I actually don't catch any fish, although I'm, I'm probably gonna bring some Gulp Alive minnows uh, just so I can say I caught something and I go for some panfish, but I will try bass fishing. Uh, I really just want to enjoy this day kayaking. I love kayaking even by itself. So uh, I'll see you when we get there. All right, here goes nothing. Uh, well y'all, it's finally happened. I am finally out on my kayak after three weeks of waiting. Uh, and today is not a torrential downpour, but it is very hot, which is unfortunate. Uh, so I, I've paddled about 100 yards. So far it's so good, it's steady. It's a very calm day, it's, there's like no wind today. The water is so calm, it's a little dirty, so I'm a little worried I might not catch any fish. But again, like I said, this is just to test out the kayak. This is just for me to, to, to see, what, see what it's like and how it's doing. But uh, yeah, why don't I tell you a little bit more about the kayak. So the kayak I finally decided to purchase is called a Vibe Yellowfin 100. There are several reasons why I decided to purchase this kayak over others. The number one reason is that it's a 10 foot kayak and the reason being is that the storage unit that I am keeping this in is a 5x10 so I needed something that could fit. This kayak also had a lot of the features that I was looking for for such a cheap price comparatively. I enjoy having a dry storage container right in front of me. I also enjoy the two front facing rod holder that might make landing a fish a little bit easier since I won't have to worry about accidentally dropping my rod into the water. This kayak also got a decent amount of good reviews from other YouTubers who would recommend it as a good starter kayak. All in all, this kayak cost me just under $800. I'm technically on a reservoir, but this is like a little creek. That is kind of in the reservoir-ish. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. But it's shaded, so that's all I care about. Gonna try out with the Whopper Clopper first and probably catch nothing. I hope the angle from my my head camera is okay. I haven't used the head camera, the head mount in quite a while. Oh, fish. 
fish. Oh, on the whopper, whopper, get out of the tree. Oh, this is nice. This is not bad. Uh, get over this way. Oh no, get out of the boat. Get out of the boat. Net, 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 my first kayak bass, boys! Boo! Boo! Ooh! Oh. I think I did forget my scale though, but that's okay. That's okay. What I like about this kayak is I got these front rod holders so I can put my fish in there. I need to get away from the tree though so I can get this bass out of there it's not a bad one and make sure i'm recording okay good oh no 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 stay oh did you just see that <laughs> stay in the stay in the net son of a gun Put my pliers get my pliers oh that, that's a good fish dude that's a good fish how do i get you out of here Oh, I don't want to hook myself. Ah, chill, bro. Oh, it got you good, buddy. It got you good. Got him. Look at this son of a gun. I got you. I got you. 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 Long, kind of fat. I could say he could be over two. I hope the camera's catching them. I can't see the screen. <laughs> oh man, it didn't take too long. I've been fishing maybe uh, 10 minutes and he went after the whopper plopper. Look at that, fantastic. Good stuff. Bye bye fella. Oh, you got this. There he goes. Is, uh, that is very exciting. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna have to get used to this whole uh, drifting around thing, but uh, he was right over by that log right there, my lay down. There's oh, so many of these good lay downs here in this little this little path here, this little water path here, and uh, wow, oh, I could go home happy now. <laughs> uh, let's get back to fishing. Uh, network like a charm. Got this from Bass Pro Shops online. Ooh, I'm already getting dehydrated. I got this and some Powerade with me, so should be all right. Yeah, the guy was right there, right by this log right here. new species decided I want to do a little pan fishing so I can get more fish on the boat and got yourself a decent little bluegill there's another spot I wanted to head to I decided to stop along the way see if I can get myself some little little sunfish little bluegills little maybe some crappy who knows I may have found the panfish honey hole because I've been trying for about 10 minutes and I've gotten nothing anywhere else. And I got two back to back right here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make our way to another spot. I don't want to lollygag too much. I only have a certain amount of time I can be out here, so let's hit up spot number two. deer over there. 
One male, one female, they're staring at me. Maybe four points, six point buck, I don't know. Well, that was pretty cool. Looked to be about three or four of them. This is the little creek that feeds into the reservoir here. Water seems a little clearer over here, I guess. Fish on. Fish off. Fish was on, now it's off. Fish on. Little guy. Little gill, but he's a new fish. There we go. I took the bobber off of the Gopalive minnow. I'm hoping for a good multi species day. There's a lot of species in this creek, so. It's a solid gill right there. Nice orange belly on that guy. Thank you for being in my very first kayaking fishing video, my friend. Not sure how much more fishing I can do. Gotta get this kayak back in the storage unit by five, cause they close at five. Might try around the lily pads over there that we passed coming in here. All right, y'all, that'll probably wrap it up for me today. I uh, caught a lot of bluegills. I did catch one really nice largemouth bass and that made my whole day. So mission success. Although it was just a, it was just a successful mission just because I didn't drown and I didn't sink my new boat. I'm probably still gonna fish on my way back to the, uh, the boat launch, but I'm probably not gonna catch anything. So this is probably gonna wrap it up for the day. I had a lot of fun. Uh, I love being out on a kayak. Uh, I look forward to trying it out more often. Uh, hopefully the cooler weather will start, will start coming and I can, uh, won't be boiling while I'm on these, when I'm out there. So thank you very much for joining me on this fishing adventure, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace out.